Good evening, everybody. I'm Dan Santorum, CEO of PTR, and it's my pleasure to welcome everybody to PTR's 40th anniversary banquet. Anne is in her 34th year as head coach of women's tennis at Haverford College. She has coached three conference singles champions, two conference doubles champions, and a host of players with conference, regional, and national rankings. Anne has taken, ha taken Haverford to the Centennial Conference Tournament for each of the last seven seasons. In 2014, the Fords advanced to their first ever Centennial Conference Tournament Championship match with a 5-3 win against Frank Franklin and Marshall in the semifinals. In 2015, Haverford continued its rise by winning 15 matches in a season for the first time since 1999. Anne was named the USTA Middle States Philadelphia District College Coach of the Year twice. Also in 2015, Anne was elected to a second term of the Intercollegiate Tennis Association Board of Directors and serves as a member of the Small College Operating Committee. She has been a USTA section national coach for 19 years. An inductee to the USTA Middle States and the Black Tennis Hall of Fame, and is also in the Hall of Achievement at the Philadelphia Association of Black Sports and Culture. She is in the Morgan State University Athletic Hall of Fame being recognized for her tennis ability, which was one of seven sports she played as an undergraduate. She also played on the Virginia Slims professional women's tennis circuit. Billy, remember those Virginia Slims? Oh yeah. <laughs> Please welcome Ann Coger to the stage. I'm just humbled and still surprised when Julie gave me the call. I was like, I must have the wrong number. <laughs> and Scott came by my table the night and says, Ann, keep it short and sweet. <laughs> because he knows I can go on. But I, I tell you, with all of the things that I've ever done in sports, I always keep coming back to tennis. And I, I still keep my nose in a lot of different sports, just to let you know, because I love sports. And one of the things that inspired me was my mother always said, I wish I had the chances that you girls have today, and you women, I wish. And she was also a woman that said, if you couldn't do something, she would, well, why not? So that was like, go for it. And one of the best days of my life, my testers, Scott and Tina, I came to the PTR, and immediately I knew it was family. And I look at you all out there, and you all inspire me that I better do it right, and I better do it well, because people are depending on me. And believe it or not, in all the sports I've coached and played, I always said that I want to have leadership, meet my goals, and pass it on to others. So hopefully I've done that because 34 years, you have a lot of people that come back and say, well, I remember what you said. Remember the day on so-and-so? And I would be like, no, not quite. That was a long time, <laughs> time ago. But they say, well, I use that now. And, and that's a great thing. And as I mentioned in the Women's Committee meeting, uh, Gladys Heldman and Billie Jean gave a wonderful opportunity to me to play professional tennis, which is one of my goals. And uh, I honor them. To, uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. So all of you out there keep doing what I do. And I'm going to keep going until I can't go anymore. And hopefully the things I've done will inspire others as you all have inspired me 
and it's just wonderful. Thank you so much.